हेलो गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वी आर बैक अगेन इन आर फील्ड्स एंड रिसेंटली वी जस्ट फिनिश द पी हार्वेस्टिंग एंड येस्टरडे ओनली वी जस्ट सोल्ड द लास्ट लॉट ऑफ आर पी सो नाउ वी हैव टू अगेन रिटर्न टू आर दीज फील्ड सो यू कैन सी वी जस्ट पिक फी फ्रॉम ऑल दीज फील्ड एंड नाउ गाइज इट्स टाइम टू कलेक्ट द ग्रास लेफ्ट ओवर आफ्टर द पी सो दीज आर द Useful grasses that are used here. So, as you can see, it's a cold desert, and during the winters there's no greenery. So, all we have to do is just take these uh, grasses out of the soil, and then just dry it somewhere, and then just we will store them for the winters, so that during the winters we can give our cattle these grasses. So, I'll show you the whole process. So, right now I'm in a field, and I'll show you how uprooting these grasses is is done. and these grasses are stored along the grasses that i uh, showed in my last video that we just uh, uh, chop from these boundaries so yeah i'll show you the uprooting of the pea left over that is the pea actual pea plant so yeah Guys, so first step is uh, to just search for the pea if there is some left over, and then we will collect in the one sack, and then later we will turn it into a bigger sack. So then the uprooting begins, and we will just uproot from the roots itself so that nothing remains behind. And again, searching for the pea, and then we have to make these kind of bundles, and this will be kept somewhere to dry. So I will show you later. the drying process so yeah how it looks after uprooting this part is whole empty and there and here it's all green right now so we just start from anywhere in our field and then just uproot the whole plants and then just make empty space so guys done with the uprootings and uh, see how odd it looks without any without the greenery and it uh, at this very moment feels like our 3 months of hard work have came up to zero so um, you can see here these are the potatoes some potatoes are left here because they need some more time to grow properly and guys uh, there we filled two or three gunny bags of pea that were left here so yeah the grass is all clear and we have uh, kept some grass on the boundaries there you can see uh, for them to get dried because it will be heavy at this time and also some are kept here so later we will just take back uh, home and after this uh, next process uh, will be done tomorrow so i'll show you tomorrow and till then bye bye so guys now it's time to go back home so i'm going to take this much of grass for today and rest will be taken on other days so so over there the grass is getting dried on the roof and here we are just storing it for the whole winters and guys this is now the dried grass that we are storing hey guys what's up so i'm back again in my field and yesterday we did the uprooting of the pea saplings and today it's the next part so basically here you can see on these boundaries we were having potato plants so we just had to dig it so we uh, have digged the half field and some are just remaining so we have to do that right now so 
let's do the digging first and then later uh, on the other side where there are, there are no potato uh, plants there we can directly plow so today we are also going to plow so let's see how it goes so yeah So guys here I am and we are done with the digging and you can see it's all leveled by now so yeah we have done the first part that's the digging and now we will go for the plowing so let's do the plowing guys so guys these are basically the tool used for digging here so this one is used just for digging our field like this and this one is used for just taking the soil on from both the side to make this partitions and at last after digging the soil became very much unleveled so this one is used for leveling so these are the th three tools we use for digging over there where we have sown potatoes now <music> guys i just uh, tried plowing for the first time and guys it was very much uh, like easy and at some times very hard also because uh, for the first time when you uh, hold the plow it uh, moves in a very different way like you need to control it very properly so it was quite hard in the beginning but later it was all going well so i tried something new today and i'm happy for that and that's the plowing that i tried all right guys so it's 5 pm now and we are done both with digging and plowing and also the leveling of the field and the and the making of proper partitions for proper irrigation so now guys i'm sure uh, i'm going to show you what we sowed here so basically this is guys the maize crop so now uh, basically guys at this time we sow the maize crop and this is not for commercial uh, production it's for the grass only that we need for our animals so so yeah we have planted a crop uh, maize all around and, and also guys in other fields we have planted uh, wheat and spinach and also some other vegetables so yeah that's the thing here 